Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have another 314 Evocati build. This one is Alpha 314C, so let us take a look at the changes. As always, huge thank you to my patrons and channel members who allow me to make these kinds of videos. And if you do enjoy my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and helping the channel to grow. So for 314C, it is still with the Evocati on the PTU. Testing focus remains the same with the new Planet Crusader and Orison Landing Zone, Surrender and Power Management. However, they have included a few new ships to the limited ship list, which include the Hornet F7C, F7CM, the Retaliator, the Hammerhead, the Arrow and the Drake Buccaneer. In feature updates, they have done further performance optimizations and polish passes on Orison with level of details, assets and lighting again. They are clearly trying to make this place as smooth as possible. For gameplay, they have done more balancing for the power management and ship weaponry. They have significantly increased ammo counts on ship ballistic weapons. For cannon sizes 1 to 4, projectile velocity has been slowed down, but their DPS is now greater, making them more useful against larger targets and less useful against smaller ships. I do wonder if this is to encourage more pre-planning, maybe? For example, if you're planning on fighting larger ships, then load yourself with cannons. If not, and you're more likely to come into contact with smaller ships, maybe choose a different weapon. I'm not sure. Let me know what your thoughts are there. All scatterguns are now slower with a much reduced range, so you must have to be really close to your target to use them now, as I believe the range before was about 500 meters or less. So we'll see how that goes. Some of the ship's default loadouts have changed, no idea what yet, and they have replaced scatterguns on turrets. And finally, the regen pool and capacitor load pool has been adjusted for the P-52 Merlin, the Auroras, the Mustangs, and the 100 series. So a lot of updates there. There has also been quite a few updates for the law and prison systems. Firstly, they have removed the trespass zones from underground facilities, which is excellent. We have heard them saying that they plan on doing this. Also, destroying a party member's empty vehicle no longer results in a crime, which is also excellent. They've updated the prison code entry interface to prevent it from resetting the code on failed attempts to stop a bug that would make it no longer accept codes. Crimes for assaulting a security officer should no longer be given outside of a monitored zone and knockouts no longer kill. So some great improvements there to just really help define the law system even more, which is great stuff. It certainly needs these little tweaks here and there. So it's good that they're rolling them out now. For Alpha 314C, there are 15 more bug fixes. Some of these include Stow should no longer be missing from commodity items. They fixed an issue causing players to not be able to bind quantum travel to a HOTAS, which is very helpful. Ship should now claim correctly on the ASOP terminal. Instead of displaying the error, your claim currently cannot be processed. Please try again. Copilot's UI should no longer be missing in many ships. Uh, I had to include this next one. It says NPCs should no longer perform a chicken dance when drinking at Orison's bar. Now that is a big shame. Uh, harvestables and mineables should no longer be missing from planets Hurston and Microtech. Ships should no longer be able to continue to throttle when their hydrogen fuel has completely depleted. That is a great fix and of course highly necessary for when they do eventually bring in the refueling updates. And finally mission markers for investigate missing client cave missions should now correctly trigger to the next phase when close. Plus there has been four client crashes fixed and one server crash fix. So there you have it, some really important fixes and updates there, lots more balance for ship combat, which is always great to see, and many for adding more granularity to the lore system, plus some great bug fixes as well. With the patch releases ramping up in Evocati, it is a good sign of a quicker release, but as usual, it is anyone's guess as to when the patch will release to further waves, as it is very much determined by how each build goes. But seeing a more consistent rollout with the Evocati is the first sign that the Evo builds are now more stable and data and bugs can begin to get collected and fixed. So let us hope we will see a wave one soon. I personally, if I was going to estimate, I wouldn't expect to wave one until maybe a week or two. It could be longer. I think it's more likely to be two weeks before we see anything, but that is obviously just a guesstimate. 
Now, I have linked the Star Citizen Leaks Discord channel in my description, which is where I gather all of my leaked information from, should you want to check it out for yourself. But with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, do consider hitting that subscribe button. Again, massive thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for the support, guys. If you want to talk more about Star Citizen or just hang out with the most incredible community ever, you are all more than welcome over at twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. Hit the like button if you don't mind and tick that little notification bell if you want to join the notification squad. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.